Hello and welcome, this is Jenna from McGuire. In my videos, I use a variety of inks. There are so many wonderful inks out there. However, one of the questions I get asked most is what inks I would recommend for a beginner. Now, I've never done this before because I wasn't really sure what to recommend. I think for beginners, it's good to have an ink that stamps well in a variety of good basic colors. Well, I found two collections of inks that are newer, and if you put them together, you have a great assortment of colors in an ink that stamps very well. So I'm gonna talk about that today. However, I do recommend, in addition to this video, watching two others that I will link to here. One is an ink comparison video, which talks, talks about the different types of inks out there, including like dye ink and pigment ink. You may find that a different type of ink is better for you than the dye ink that I talk about today. The second video that I recommend you checking out is my favorite inks from last year. There are great inks. I actually did that video before the inks that I'm talking about today were available, but it's definitely worth checking out because there are some other really great inks out there. For example, I really love inks from like Hero Arts and W Plus 9 and some other companies, but today I wanted to talk about a small collection of just 20 inks in some good basic colors that will give great stamping every time. So that's what today's video is about. This collection of inks that I recommend for beginners actually has two different companies' inks included. On the top, you'll see the colors from Lawn Fawn, and on the bottom, you'll see the colors from Ranger. Now, the Lawn Fawn collection has 10, and the Ranger collection has 12. Now, these are both dye inks. The formulation is different between the two, but the results are similar, and the colors go nicely together. The Lawn Fawn colors on the top are somewhat of a mid-tone ink, a kind of a muted rich color, whereas the Ranger inks in the bottom row are very bright primary colors. Now when you put these two collections, you get a great uh, assortment of colors with very little overlap. Now I am going to remove the two black inks from this collection for today because I just wanted to focus on colored inks. Black inks, that's a whole nother beast. There's different black inks for different uses. So between these two collections, when you take out the black, you have 20 ink pads with very few overlap. And I really think that when you put them together, you have a great assortment of colors. Now, as I mentioned, the formulation between these inks is different. And I'll show you a little bit of that in a moment but they are both dye inks. By dye inks, that means that the ink actually kind of absorbs into the paper and dyes it, so you get a solid image. It doesn't work great on dark colored cardstocks and you really can't heat emboss it, but dye inks are great for your basic stamping and what I usually reach for the most. And again, if you really wanna learn more about the different types of inks, be sure to watch my ink comparison video, which I'll link to here. Let's first take a close look at the Lawn Fawn dye inks. As I mentioned, there are 10 in the collection for now. They will be adding more colors. And it is an acid-free, fast dyeing, drying, dye-based ink that's made in the USA. Now this is very similar to the ink collection that I like so much from say Hero Arts and some other companies where the ink slowly absorbs into the paper and softens and smooths out. But this formulation is a little bit different you get more of a crisp look right away, but the color does soften. So you wanna keep that in mind, but the results are just beautiful. Very solid, beautiful colors. So now you can see on the right is the color that I just stamped, and this right here is after it has given some time to dry. So now you can see the different colors in the collection, really kind of rich colors. You don't have the basic primary like red, orange, yellow, and green, but that you can get with the Ranger inks, which I'll show you in a moment. I find these inks to be very high quality, which is something that I expect from Lawn Fawn. They always give the best of products, and I really like that the colors in their collection match the feel of the company and the products they offer. Okay, so now let's take a look at the Ranger dye inks. Now, Ranger's been making inks and paints and everything for so long, but this is a newer collection of dye inks from them. You can see how the ink pad compares in size, and I really like that these stack together nicely. There are 12 colors in this collection and they're a water-based dye ink that is fade resistant and waterproof once it's dry. Now I will say that the colors are really bright and vibrant and a great basic collection of colors. And I like that when you stamp this, you get great results from the beginning. So you'll see that you get a crisp red image and it doesn't change much from the red that you see up in the top there in the collection. I will say that I've tried a lot of inks in my days and I've never really found a dye ink that stamps true to color right off the bat and gives solid images right away. And that's one of the things I like about this dye ink. Ranger is another company that always offers high quality products. They're made in the USA and I just think they're a great company and I'm so glad that they've delivered such a great ink with this collection. 
For some reason, I've never really found many dye inks that offer great basic primary colors, but this collection does. Okay, so now that we have talked about the two different collections of inks, when we put them together is where the real magic happens because uh, thankfully, there really isn't much overlap in color between them. So when we mix them up, you end up with a nice range of colors. And this is why I recommend these inks to a beginner. You get great results in a great assortment of colors. Again, there are many other wonderful inks out there that you see me use in my videos, and I still highly recommend them. But if you're a beginner and just want somewhere to start, this is a good place to start. And then I would check out my video on my favorite inks to see what others you can reach out into, some other dye inks and some other pigment inks. But check out the collection of colors that you get here. Absolutely gorgeous. All of these inks are available individually, so you can leave out some of the colors if you don't think you would use them all that often. If you would like to see a closer look at how all these colors look together, I have photos over on my blog at jennifermaguireink.com, where I'll actually also be doing a giveaway, and I will have links to the other videos and inks that I've mentioned. If you are interested in buying any of these inks, I have links to multiple sources in my YouTube description below and over on my blog. If you found the information in this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up um, so that YouTube knows you want to see more from me, or you can also subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll stop back by again soon.